So, in this section, I'm gonna teach you how to test all types of SMT diodes using the multimeter. But first, let's answer some questions. What is SMT diode? What are the types of SMT diodes? What are the samples of SMT diodes? So let's see the definition of diode. A diode is an electronic component that allows current to pass in one direction, but not in the other. In other words, an ideal diode will have zero resistance in one direction and infinite resistance in the reverse direction. A surface mount diode SMT has two metallic leads, which allow it to be soldered directly on the printed circuit board PCB. So, as you can see here, this is the symbol of the diode. As you can see, here we have the anode or the plus terminal, and here we have the cathode. Or or the negative terminal. So basically the diode allows the current to pass just in one direction from anode to cathode and blocks the current from the other direction as you can see. Okay? So in the real diode you will find as you can see a band or a line here. This band means the cathode or the negative terminal. Okay? So types of SMT diodes. So we're gonna see many types of SMT diode. We're gonna see the standard diodes, switching diodes, rectifier diodes, zener diodes, short key diode, TVS diodes, and LED diodes or light emitting diode. So let's begin with the first diode, the standard or normal diodes. A standard diodes are used in low current applications. So as you can see here, the standard diodes look like this, as you can see with two terminals. Okay, this is their samples, as you can see, and normal samples with anode and cathode. Okay, so let's see the second type of diode. The switching diodes. Switching diode is a semiconductor device that is specially designed with a switching function. In other words, a switching diode is an electrical switch that has two states, on and off. So basically you can find the switching diodes like this with like the normal diode or you can find it with three pins. Okay. So let's see right now the rectifier diodes. So a rectifier diode is used for EC line rectification. It converts alternating current EC to direct current DC. The Zener diode. A Zener diodes are used to provide a stable reference voltage in electronic circuits. Okay, so basically this is the Zener diodes as you can see here. Okay, we'll find always this blue band. Okay, the blue band means a Zener diode. So for this, the Zener diode as you can see, this is their symbols. As you can see, this is the symbol for the Zener diode. So let's see right now the Schottky diode. The Schottky diode is a semiconductor diode formed by the junction of a semiconductor with a metal. It has a low forward voltage drop and a very fast switching action. It can be used in switching and rectification applications the same as any other junction diode. Of course, there is many types of Schottky diode. As you can see, you can find just a normal diode with two terminals or three terminals, or you can find this kind of diode, as you can see. So for the symbol of Schottky diode, as you can see, this is their symbols, as you can see here. Okay? So the TVS diodes, a transient voltage separation TVS diode or thyristor is an electronic device that is used to protect 
electronic circuits from voltage spikes or unexpected voltage changes. A TV is diode may be unidirectional or bidirectional. As a unidirectional device, it operates as a rectifier that can handle very large peak currents. So basically, this is the symbol for the TV is diode or transient voltage separation. So these diodes are used to protect electron circuit from unexpected voltage changes. Okay, so basically you can find just a normal diode like this with two terminals or with three pins. Okay, so as you can see, this is a symbol, two diodes. Okay, or you can find just, as you can see, one diode like this. Okay, this is a unidirectional TVS and this is a bidirectional TVS. So let's say right now the LED or light emitting diode. So light emitting diode LED is a semiconductor device that emits light when an electrical current flows through it. It is widely used in electrical and electronic equipment. Like all diodes, light emitting diode allows the current to flow in the forward direction and blocks it in the reverse direction. So as you can see, basically this is the LED diode, as you can see, okay? And this is its symbol, as you can see, with two arrow. So right now I'm going to show you how to test the diodes, all kind of diodes, okay? First, let's see this slide, as you can see here. So basically the diode is normally a polarized device. It's not like a resistor. The diode exactly like the electrolytic capacitor, okay? You should respect the polarity. So here we have the anode or plus terminal. Here we have the cathode or the negative terminals. So to test the diode, you should first select, as you can see, the buzzer or the continuity option here, okay? And then if you put the red probe of the multimeter in the anode or the plus side and the black probe in the cathode, you should get a reading. You should get a reading. And when you reverse the probes, I mean, you, you put the black probe in the anode and the red probe in the cathode, you should not get any reading. If you get these two states, means the diode is good. But if you get the reading in both directions, means the diode is bad. Or if you get a continuity or a buzzer, means the diode is shorted.